welcome to the channel everyone and the Cessna 310. We have a few issues for you today that we're troubleshooting with the aircraft at this time. The aircraft seems to be flying slow, about 20 knots or 25 miles an hour in cruise. The performance is also not what we're hoping for in climb. I'm seeing at least a 500 foot per minute loss in climb performance. The left engine in particular also will not make static RPM and requires about 20 to 30 knots of airspeed going down the runway before it's able to spin up to full RPM, again showing a weak engine. Obviously this is causing the propellers to not drive as coarse as possible and is resulting in the loss of climb performance, takeoff performance and cruise performance. So let's take a look at some cruise flying and see what I'm talking about. Here we're at 5,500 feet. We've got split fuel pressures, but I've uh, leaned the engines basically just until they're running a little rough and then smoothing them out with mixture. I'm running 2,300 RPM and full throttle, which is giving me about 24 inches of manifold pressure. As you can see, the fuel flows are quite close, just coming up over Hamilton Airport here at the moment. but when I do all the calculations for working out true airspeed, I come up with numbers that are at least 25 miles an hour slow. So further along in the flight, now 5,000 feet and up to 2450 RPM with full throttle, same results, 20 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour slow. So what's wrong with the airplane? And honestly, still trying to figure this out. What I have done so far is gone through and done the full fuel flow setup procedure as published by Continental in their maintenance manuals. And I've gone through and cleaned all the screens, fuel screens, inlet screens, I've cleaned all the nozzles, I've double checked all the timing, I've checked plug gaps, I've checked air filters, I checked alternate air doors today to make sure they weren't getting you know, sucked open and we were getting hot air. So I'm starting to run out of ideas. We've got timing items checked as well. I am thinking that we may have a problem with one of the mechanical fuel pumps because my pressures fluctuate. When I first taxied out, my pressures were split, but for the second takeoff, just before I took off, they were matched at 1000 RPM. They'll be split at the beginning of a flight, and when I get back from a flight, they'll be batched again, even though I set them all up on the ground. So there's some odd behavior going on here. I'm also suspecting a potential manifold leak, as the manifold pressure seems high when I'm at 1000 RPM. Now I have drain tubes in the intake system that are just open, and I can't seem to find reliable information on whether that is actually how it's supposed to be. There's nothing in the parts book for the 310 on it. But it's definitely starting to drive me a little crazy, and I've still got a fair bit of work to do. So if you guys have got any ideas, sure love to hear in the comments section if you've had some experience with this sort of an issue, what's happening. I will get it fixed, I'm sure. I've just got to work out what's going on and why we're not getting full power. I have also done a compression check on both engines and they're running really well. Compressions are really excellent. So I want to make sure I get this resolved and we don't damage anything flying the aircraft too much. So here's a run up for you at the end. Uh, this is actually at the end of the flight, so you can see the pressures are matched right now, and the manifold pressures aren't. We got a split in the manifold pressure, and you can see they're quite high. So that's obviously a, a concern. But when I do the run up and cycle the props, everything seems to be checking out fairly well. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like is there's almost not enough of a mag drop on the left engine and the right engine is right on the limit like any more of a mag drop and and you would not be going flying but again all the ignition system all seems to be good the mags are all within their time limits and everything seems okay and that's what's really made this a frustrating project anyway stay safe everyone happy tailwinds i hope you get out there get lots of flying done and we'll talk to you all soon